welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a fall clean and bake with me. So there are a few things I need to get done around the house before I have to go and pick up the kids from school. So I'd like to just pick up the living room, the kitchen, and then also the dining room and the kids play area. I just want to make sure that that's all nice and cleaned and organized because after school I do have a few errands to run. So I just want to come back home to a clean and organized house. So originally I was going to bake these really good chocolate and cinnamon muffins, but at the last minute I decided to change it. So technically I'm not baking, but I'm still making a really good treat. So anytime I think of fall, I automatically think of like candy apples and caramel apples. So today I'm going to be doing some caramel apples. I found a really good recipe on Pinterest where you dip the apples in chocolate and then you like drizzle some caramel over it. I'm also going to be putting a few toppings on a few of them. So I have like some M&Ms and peanuts. So I thought I would do that instead of just baking muffins because I really want some caramel apples. I haven't had any for a while. So that is the little fall treat that I will be making in this cleaning video as well. I also want to quickly mention that this is going to be a collab with one of my really good friends here on YouTube. Her name is Lindsay and her channel is called Lindsay's Life and Style. So Lindsay is a fellow YouTube mama and over on her channel she does a lot of motivational style videos. She does cleaning and organizing but she also does shopping videos and hauls. She sometimes even does a vlog so you can get to know her and her beautiful family. She has amazing content and she is super motivational so make sure you go ahead and check her out. If you are longtime subscribers of mine then you already know who she is because we have collabed previously in the past a few times. So she's also going to be doing a fall clean and bake with me. So definitely go check her out and let her know that I sent you. You guys can get double the motivation today by checking out Lindsay. Let her know that I sent you and show her some love. All of her information will be linked down below in my description box. If you guys are coming over from Lindsay's channel and this is your first time ever seeing my face and welcome. My name is Jillian. I'm a stay-at-home mom to two. I'm also a special needs mom to my daughter who is autistic and over in my channel you can find a lot of cleaning, organizing, style videos. I do throw in some vlogs and shopping videos every once in a while. So if you enjoyed today's video, I would love for you to stick around and subscribe and join my YouTube family. Enough of my rambling. Let's go ahead and jump right in to today's fall clean and bake with me. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and clean all the dishes that were already in the sink. I know some people might think, why clean up before you make a fall treat, before you make more of a mess and dirty more dishes? I just like to do this just because it's less dishes and less things for me to clean up once I am done making my fall treat. So I'm just going to go ahead and quickly clean up the kitchen and clean the dishes that were already in the sink. And then I will start making my delicious fall treat. So I'll be using my Jaws cleaning products. They are all natural base cleaning products. They have a ton of different cleaning products. They have some for the kitchen, bathroom, disinfecting, a floor, anything, you name it. It's really easy. All you do is add a little bit of water up into the line on the bottle and just quickly insert that little tablet you guys saw me put in and that is all. So I'm using this one. It is a cinnamon orange scent. So I thought it was perfect to clean since it is fall time and it has a cinnamon smell in it. So I'm just gonna use that to wipe down all of my kitchen counters.
And now that my kitchen is nice and clean and I have a clean workspace to work in, I'm gonna go ahead and cut up my apples. Like I said, I am gonna be making a little caramel chocolate covered apple. So I've already washed my apples. I'm gonna go ahead and slice them. And if you guys are wondering why I didn't cut the sides, it's just because I wanted them to be perfect slices. Don't worry, the rest of the apple did not go to waste. I did chop it up and I saved it. Me and the kids eat it just like that. But I'm just gonna slice up all of the apples and take out the seeds and then I will move on to melting the chocolate and also the caramel. Now that all my apples are sliced up, I'm gonna go ahead and melt my chocolate. And while the chocolate is melting in the microwave, I'm gonna go ahead and unwrap some of the caramel candies, place it in a micro safe bowl. And then once the chocolate is done, I will go ahead and melt the caramel as well. Still, morning light is showing, she moves the chair to look out at her view. But a shop was put right across the street And it stands where the sunrise used to be In the afternoons on the couch to read Those through old pictures so now it is time to go ahead and dip all the apples in the chocolate. I definitely recommend getting the popsicle sticks where you can put in the bottom of the apples. It'll just make it so much easier to be able to dip. This was a huge mess, me dipping it without those popsicle sticks. My fingers were covered in chocolate. I kept on having to wash them off, but I was able to dip them. So I just dipped all of the apples in the chocolate. And then you guys are gonna see that I'm gonna try and just drizzle some of the caramel over all the apples. Since she got a family of her own It's kept the two apart Used to have so many visitors But now the only one Is the nurse that helps her move the chair To look out at the sun But a shop was built right across the street And it stands where the sunrise used to be In the afternoons and the couch to read Those through old pictures and memories Our heroes have been forgotten our heroes so brave and bold Our heroes have been forgotten Now it's time to go ahead and drizzle some of the caramel over all the apples I was having a few complications here trying to get the caramel to melt I had to melt it like three or four different times I have used these caramels before in other little baking dishes And I don't feel like I had this much problems doing it But this time around, I don't know what happened But you're gonna see that I'm struggling a little bit But I still was able to get some of the caramel to drizzle over the apples and after I am done drizzling all of the caramel over the apples, I will go ahead and add my toppings, which is the crushed peanuts and also walnuts. And then I also added a few M&Ms to a few of the apples. I did leave a few plain, but I did add those toppings as well. Also, like I said, definitely use popsicle sticks because this was a huge mess without using them, but they turned out really delicious. They don't look the best, you guys. They're not super pretty at all, but they definitely tasted really good and the kids also really loved them. So I guess that's all that counts. I will also be leaving the recipe down below if any of you guys are interested in making this delicious fall treat. So many places still undiscovered that you're stuck in a past is All right guys, so I'm done making the apples, but just an FYI, they do not look pretty at all i am so over the caramel i've used these caramels before in other baking recipes and i feel like i never had a problem but this time around it just it just was not working out also i forgot to buy popsicle sticks so that when i dipped the apples in the chocolate it wouldn't be a mess and it'll be easier so i was having trouble also dipping the apples in the chocolate and i made a huge mess but regardless these are still going to be really delicious some of them i put some peanuts then a few I put M&Ms in the last four where I was pretty much over the caramel situation. I just left plain. So I'll show you guys how everything looks. All right, so this is how everything turned out. Like I said, it does not look really pretty, but I'm sure it's still going to taste really good. So over here are the ones that I just sprinkled some of the nuts on top, which was walnuts and also peanuts. And then these I put a few M&Ms on. And then this is where I was pretty much over the caramel. Um, and I just left those plain. But that's how everything turned out. The kids are going to be so excited when they get home. And they have a little treat. So that's how my caramel chocolate apples turned out. Cheers.
So now that I am done making my delicious fall treat, I'm going to go ahead and finish cleaning up the kitchen from the mess that I made from making these chocolate caramel apples. So just keep on moving to the light You are your mind and soul You won't find them twice at all And someday you'll see the hour Where you've always been belong I'm going to be cleaning off the little glass part on my dining room table and I'll also be using the Jaws glass cleaner same thing just add water up to the line add that little tablet inside and twist it and it's ready to go so i'm going to use that to clean off the glass part and then to clean off the wooden part i'm just going to be using my mrs myers and the apple cider scent it smells amazing my favorite scent so that is what i'll be using to clean off my dining room table to mop my floors i will be using the jaws hardwood cleaner and same exact steps as the previous two so i'm going to go ahead and just spray as i go my mop does have water attached to it sometimes i do have cleaning products in it as well but this was just water and then i would spray a little bit of the jaws and i just mopped up my entire kitchen Sun, but a shop was built right across the street and stands where the sunrise used to be in the afternoon from the couch to read all right you guys so this is going to be the end of my fall clean slash bake with me so i want to jump on here really quickly to say thank you so much for watching today's video if you enjoyed it remember to give it a thumbs up also subscribe and turn on your notification bell if you have not already i would love to have you be a part of my youtube family also do not forget to head over to my friend Lindsay's channel her channel is called Lindsay's life and style and all of her information will be linked down below for you guys to go check her out thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time